Hi all, it's Kelly Garrigan with Kelly Garrigan Coaching. I am a transformational coach. I hold the magic in these hands and in this mind and I can help you get to the next level. Um, a lot of the things that I talk about and you're like, how do I even get to the next level? Um, well, a lot of the things that I talk about, the theories, the concepts, um, the ways of being, people are like, yeah, that makes sense, and I agree with you, and, um, you know, yeah, I can see that way being of being. It's a new thought, and your mind starts sparking, like, new thought, new thought. Um, but until you actually start to embody these practices, start to meditate, start to change your behaviors, start to become aware, aware consciously of the decisions you're about to make, consciously feel the feelings that are coming up, consciously thinking of the thoughts that your mind is producing. Um, until you start to get to that level, it's hard to change because at 35 years old, you are programmed with thoughts, emotions, beliefs, uh, and thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and behaviors. Okay, that are ingrained in your body and you don't even know what's going on. You, 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 you unconsciously um, act, okay, and you're living in the past. Uh, so to make a new future, a new you, um, you need to start to think in new ways. You need to start to take on new beliefs. You need to start to consciously think how you're going to act and act differently from the way you have done in the past. Something might spark an emotion. You need to be aware of what that emotion is and not put blame on anything outside of you or be like, this is something I act this way because of my ex-husband, which I do quite a bit. Um, and that's an area where I am changing. I am transforming. And I no longer want to be a victim to my past so how do I unlock that? How do I get unstuck from that? How do I change that? Well, I'm going to start to um, uh, cultivate new thoughts, new beliefs, new ways of thinking and being. So I take what I don't like, what I don't want to think about, and or don't want to feel, and I recognize when that comes up, and then I choose to think differently. People don't think they have a control or or any control over their thoughts or their beliefs or the uh, not beliefs but their thoughts or emotions but actually you have great power over them the key is when you have power over them is when you can be aware of them and then choose a different way you can be aware of it accept it and be like okay and then just go on not and go on to like another choice that's the power is being aware of it and where we become aware of the thoughts the emo and the emotions is through the practice of meditation because here we're conditioning the mind to catch to be aware of when start thoughts start to float up in our meditation practice uh, many times like the, uh, uh, just like a breath practice we focus on the breath and every time the mind starts to wander we we redirect that our, our thoughts and our focus back to our breath or back to our bodies, back to a one-pointed focus. So that is conditioning the mind to come back to a one-pointed focus, but it's conditioning the mind to become aware of when your mind starts straying and become aware of what you're thinking because, oh, I'm thinking this, thoughts, planning, um, worrying, making a list, um, things like that. So anyway, just a little sidetracking off of their meditation. So if you want to make huge transformational shifts in your life, um, I'd love to work with you. If you're stuck right now and you're not sure where you're going or even how to get there, um, I can help you through that too. It's a mindset. So let me help reframe that. Let me give you the support, the courage, the strength, the resiliency, the accountability, um, the check-ins, um, and together we can come up with an amazing plan just for you. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. There you go. Have a great Thursday.